All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back. We got the mirrors in from Go Tuning a few weeks ago. Just haven't had the time to put it in. Decided I'm gonna just go ahead and slap this sucker on. I'm gonna try a different approach. And I think if I end up popping this mirror out, it's gonna make my life a hell of a lot easier to install this mirror. Another option is I could put some tape on the actual mirror, you know, kind of double side it, kind of hold it and stick it in, in place. That seems a little bit janky to me. I don't want the same issue that happened to me last time. Not to mention, I also learned that you could do this to your mirror. Go figure, right? You live and you learn. So I'm gonna give this a shot. We'll see what happens. So anywho, as far as tools that I'm gonna use is, I'm gonna try and use this pry tool or this one here to try and get the mirror to pop off. Now, from what I've seen is you stick this in here, you start wiggling and you wanna pry it off. I am gonna put some tape, masking tape of some sort here. That way when I'm trying to pop it off, I'm not gonna scratch anything or mess anything up. And we're gonna give this a shot. So, stay tuned. As you see, I've masked up the area. I'm gonna try prying it with this piece first. All right, so, so far a success. Mirror came off, no problem, nothing broke. I'm gonna have to pull these little plastic pieces out once I'm done installing the blue mirror on here. Uh, but so far, so good. Take your time with it. I did end up using the thinner tool to get it. And then the way that I got it was by pushing the mirror all the way to this corner so in essence, I pushed the mirror in this way, stuck a towel in here and pried here. And once I heard a little click, I would now went into the center of the mirror and propped the other one out. And that one was easy, just came right out. No biggie. For you guys that own a Civic or gals that is an SI, it will have the heater, uh, little connection here. Be careful when you pull it out, pull it out a certain distance and unplug those. For the Type R, you're not gonna run into that problem unless you got the Euro mirrors. But so far so good. Now we're gonna go ahead and prep the area. We're gonna take all these fingerprints off, install the new blue wide mirror, and hopefully the install back is no problem and we'll be good to go. All right, y'all, so before I install the mirror, I want you guys to understand how detailedly cut this piece is. I mean, there is no room for error when installing it. That is literally on top of itself. So as you could tell, I think doing it this route is your best shot at putting together a quality install. Not the first way I did it, which leaves it up to interpretation, leaves you know the chance of you messing up. And I wanna give you an idea of what it looked like when I first installed it. That's what it would have looked like. That's how bad I messed up the first time. You have to put the adhesive tape on the back of this piece that's gonna to stick to here. Now I might just put the adhesive tape on this mirror and lay this piece on itself but uh, I'm not sure. Kind of nervous right now, y'all. I don't wanna F this one up again and have to come up another, you know, hundred and plus dollars to repair this mirror fiasco. But here we go, wish me luck. You see, I'm already having seven years of bad luck thanks to that mirror. Woo, we got it done, y'all. We got it done. 
think I did a damn good job on this mirror compared to the other one. As you can tell, there's a slight little notch right there. Right there. This sucker is on as evenly as possible. So this might just be either the way it's cut or maybe I'm my hair off, but oh well. It's on, it's on, it looks great. Now the hard part is going to be to pop these little pieces back in here and make sure that I don't break anything and that the actuators work and everything's ready to go. We'll test that out once we've installed it. I will link in the description below the video that I saw, which gives detailed instructions on how to do it. But again, they're not installing a Spoon Sports mirror. All right, all right, all right. Went ahead and tested the mirror, left and right, up and down, works perfect. Installation is a success. At this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of the masking tape and call this dog and pony show on night. Had to do it twice because the first time when I installed it, like I said, it's a little triangle in here. There's one white actuator here, another one here, and then the center ball uh, joint or whatever you want to call it. First time I put it in the little plastic, like little cover for the actuator pushed in too much. So once I installed it and I was moving the mirror, it was working up and down, but not left to right. I went ahead and had to remove it, reinstalled it this time, making sure that those little white pieces are pushed all the way in at the same time that the rubber, you know, grommet that's around it is properly around that little white ball that's on that, that you'll see I mean again if you don't that little rubber piece goes into the hole that you're pushing in that white actuator and when it tries to turn it doesn't have anywhere to grip so it doesn't work I used with part of my kit that I have for uh, removing you know, plastic pieces, this guy here, and that guy, I used it so I can uh, pull it out of the hole that I was in. And once I was installing it, I just kept kind of poking at it, making sure that it stayed popped out instead of depressing in as I was pushing in that piece. So again, installation's complete. I'm just gonna clean this sucker up and call it a night. But again, go ahead and smash that subscribe button Okay, so quick first impressions on the springs and rigid collars. So far, the springs feel great. I do notice that in sport mode, it's a bit stiffer. I've gone over a couple of those cat eyes on the freeway and the car does thump a little harder, but the car does feel a lot stiffer. And what I mean by that is, it, it, it just, it's hard to explain. I wish I could give you more detail, but it just feels balanced. It feels like the car is one. I don't feel any play in it. I move left to right as I'm right now on the freeway going left to right. And it just feels solid. It feels very responsive. We have yet to hit some turns tonight when I get out of class. I'm gonna smash out on some of these turns on the way home. I'll give you a better idea. But so far, so good. I did like how it was driving in the street. Um, I think I am gonna need an alignment though. It didn't feel like I needed one at lower speeds, but once I got up onto the speeds, anything about 50, it did feel like it's pulling slightly to the right. I wanna make sure the tires wear nice and even. Uh, so yeah, it's feeling good so far. Car feels super, super good, super tight, super tight. So again, that's just a sliver of the review. I'm gonna give it a few more days, you know, maybe some highway driving, some road, blah, 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 again. Geez, my mouth is off today. You know, we're gonna give it some road driving, gonna give it a couple other things, you know, maybe take it up to the mountains and see if I could kind of smash out up in Big Bear and see how that feels. 
but yeah the car feels great feels good so far too bad i'm in this orange crush traffic heading to school but if not i'd be able to give you guys a better idea but it just feels great money well spent no regrets and again big big shout out to andy over at socal motorworks look him up if you're in the socal area or even if you're in the california area and you want to get your car dialed in right go see him he, he's not gonna come in and, and want to push you to do anything he knows what his time's worth and it shows in his work so far i'm super super satisfied i'm gonna go back to him to get the parts that i just got at spoon installed by him besides he let me hang out in his waiting area all day uh, who does that? He might have wanted me to get the hell out. He even let me record. He let me, you know, do a couple things that he's probably not supposed to do. The guy is super sick on first impression. And you remember, you know, my buddy Nelson always told me this. First impression is your last impression. So literally, he won me over. I'll be back. I'll be back to even service my cars with him. No BS. I'm not just super hype beasting him right now. But, you know, he did really really good work on my car and i really appreciate that a true professional you don't find a lot of those people nowadays you don't find them and i think i found myself one who does quality work and i really am satisfied here so again uh i'll give you guys some more updates as we keep going in the car and stay tuned I do appreciate all the support. 